Hi, I wanted to start this vlog um, specifically because when I was looking into the subject, I couldn't find um, any video that I got all the information I wanted to get from. I couldn't really find a video with the human, and maybe I didn't look correctly, I'm not sure. Um, I couldn't really find like a human experience. It was more like data, like videos and you know, whatever. But I want to take you guys on a journey with me um, while I am doing my PEP for HIV. Um, so PEP uh, for HIV is post-exposure prophylactic for HIV. And um, prophylactic is a, a, a type of medication that is to prevent a disease, in this case, HIV. Um, so I am in the medical field. I am a medical assistant. And I was, unfortunately... Um, exposed to bodily fluids from a HIV positive patient. Um, I could also go into the story of what happened. If you guys want to, just let me know. Um, any questions, any details that I'm forgetting to include. If, you, if this is something that you're interested in, let me know and I will make sure to answer that for you. Um, again, I wanted to start this vlog because I want to show you my journey through this uh, PEP it is a 28 day course. Um, it's 2020. I've had a tremendous year already to say the least. And uh, today is Thursday, October 29th, I believe. Um, the exposure was a Monday. So with the most important thing to remember about uh, HIV PEP. Um, so there is a PrEP and there is a PEP. So I am on a PEP, which is post exposure. Uh, the PrEP is for pre-exposure, so people who are in a higher risk group of um, obtaining HIV would go for the PrEP. So this is in preparation to, um, you know, in case you come in contact with it in the future, you want to pre-medicate in a sense. I'm taking the PEP, which is a post-exposure. Um, not to say that I am positive myself. Um, I did come in contact with bodily fluids in a way that made me very uncomfortable and I know that if it died, I did not take this medication my anxiety would be up the roof. Um, so to say the least I chose after a long hours of deliberation I gave myself diarrhea for the last two days because I've just been so anxious and determining whether I want to take this or not. Um, I didn't get a lot of information regarding like the side effects. I know it's like nausea, diarrhea, vomiting that sort of stuff, um, but I have read other uh, CDC links that do talk about very, very rare occasions, you know, like liver or kidney um, issues do come about, um, so I'm here to document my journey. Um, I hope no one has to go through this, but, you know, being in the medical field, you do have that occupational exposure. If you're looking to resonate, if you're going through this and you you know, want to learn more about it, um, I suggest you guys stay tuned. This is very new to me. I'm not a vlogger. Uh, I'm a medical assistant slash part-time student sometimes. I'm a very regular person and um, it did come a shock when it did come, you know, shockingly to me um, to find out that the bodily fluid I came in contact was indeed HIV positive. Um, it does, it is a very scary moment. Um, it almost feels like you got punched, sucker punched in the stomach and you kind of just lose your mind for a quick second, but you got to recollect, take a deep breath, understand that this type of stuff happens in the medical field. And although we don't always sign up expecting the worst, we all know in the back of our mind that this is an option and we should be treating all of our patients with, um, as if everybody were to have it, you know, and that's just to the degree of precaution we should take whenever we do any type of procedures. I am vlogging at a CVS parking lot. I've been having to go through hoops um, to pick up my medication and I have been anxious to say the least. Uh, I nearly had an anxiety attack at the pharmacy, almost started crying because I'm like, no, like you don't understand. Like I need to take it by today at 3 p.m. Um, or else it doesn't work in case, you know, I was infected. And it's apparently two medications. Um, the first medication is Isintress. 
Um, it's a 400 milligram tablet, one per 30 or one per, um, oh, I'm sorry, this one is one tablet per mouth twice a day for a total of 60. Um, and then the other one is the m I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right. Um, it looks like it's generic for 10 off. Um, or no, it's actually a combination drug. The second drug is m tricitabine 10 off. 200-300 mg, one for 30. So I was able to pick up one of the medications. Um, the other one does require preauthorization. So as soon as I heard that, I went into panic mode and, you know, had made a whole bunch of calls, nearly lost my, lost my shit. Um, because this is a very stressful thing to go through. It's a very time sensitive drug. Like I mentioned, the the, uh, the the PEP needs to be taken within 72 hours. Um, it should be taken immediately. It does lose apparently effectiveness the more the longer you wait. Um, after 72 hours, it is it will not do anything for you. Um, so I went to work today. Um, they were still having trouble from last night with my workers' comp benefits. It was a hot mess. I was in tears by the time I got into my car, both yesterday and today, um, because it's a very stressful thing um, to have to go through knowing that it's a possibility. You know, it's a very life-changing ordeal. And um, my pharmacy, luckily, I was a little, you know, I was a little stern. I was a little mean, you can say, but they are definitely doing the best to help me and you know you can tell when someone wants to help you you can tell when they don't give a crap um and i don't know if they can see you know the anxiety in my eyes but i did have a very helpful set of ladies help me at the pharmacy um so i drove to work this morning which is 45 minutes away from my home um i was like heck no i'm going to get my prescription because today's the last day before at 3 p.m. becomes my 72 hours um and so I stopped before work to the pharmacy still having trouble I was able to get my workers comp on the phone to talk to my pharmacy so that they can you know exchange information one of the medication goes through finally thank you god just for them to tell me that they are out of stock and it doesn't get here till tomorrow and I'm like that's not gonna work you don't understand again that you know my time is running out to take this medication um i had her i asked her to call around other cvs's to pick up you know see if they had it in stock she did tell me that the only one was um uh the only cvs that had it in stock nearby in the central valley nearby us would be you know uh, a 25 minute drive from there so here i go driving 25 minutes back towards home I'm like, that's fine. I really don't care. I will do whatever it takes. Um, so here I am. Can to pick up my prescription? Um, it's a very expensive prescription to have what I have heard. So here I have the, the medication, the combo med, the m tricitabine slash 10 off. Um, you do have to eat before you take it. Uh, the the warning says um, may cause dizziness. Drug can impair ability to operate a vehicle to prevent loss of effective keep drug in original package. Blah 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 blah. So I did have them um, consult me on this, and he didn't really do a good job. He kind of just automatically assumed that I take this, um, which is very sad. And he's like, you take this already, right? You take this every day. And I'm like, no, I'm using this as a prophylactic. He's like, take it with food, which was not what I was expecting. Um, but nevertheless, I got my medication. I hope they never have to go through it. I don't, I don't wish this on my worst enemy. And it's just the anxiety that comes with it all. The anxiety, the time. You can literally, you literally feel a ticking time bomb in your head. So this is the first time I opened this. I mean, I haven't looked at them. <sighs> so generic for Truvada.
So I will be documenting my journey with these medications. Um, I also, I am vitamin D deficient. Um, I know that some side effects are, um, it, it could affect your bones or um, your liver, kidneys. Um, so I will be taking calcium and I already do take vitamin D. I will be taking it more routinely. Um, along with the calcium supplement just to help myself out as much as possible he did the one thing he told me was eat it with food so picked up a breakfast burrito um not really hungry because i've been super anxious and i've had diarrhea because i yeah i'm very stressed out about this um it is the third time i come exposure to bodily fluids however it is the um the first time that it actually i come into actual contact contact with it and the difference is that this time it was a hiv positive patient so that's why i have chosen to take the prophylactic um last time i it was a needle poke uh with a used needle however the patient was not hiv positive um so I was not as concerned, you know, it was someone who didn't have the virus. So worst case scenario was going to be like hepatitis, tuberculosis, which is still bad, but it's not, um, in my opinion, it's, it's not as, you know, it's not as bad. So I did do all my labs that time. Everything was perfect. Thank God. And I didn't have to take it. So because this was, um, and again, if you want to know the story, let me know and I can make a video about that on the side, but um, I did come into contact and it was a positive patient. So for my peace of mind, because I know myself and I know I will make myself sick over this, I have chosen to take the medication. So I took in a couple bites out of my burrito. It's a huge burrito, very good. <laughs> um, while I wait for my other medicine to get approved, hopefully, I will take this one and um, Let's see. I've also decided to take a little better care of my kidneys and liver. So I normally do drink coffee. I'm doing tea. I will not be drinking any type of, you know, soda or anything like that. I'm going to try to be as nice to my kidney and liver so that it can do its job for me for the next 30 days. And my first reaction, these things are huge. So here is the tablet here, TV for, what is it, Truvada, and as you can tell, these things are mighty huge. Um, I don't have any type of problems swallowing pills, but it's a life-changing moment here for if I do or if I don't. So here's day one of Truvada. This is a very um, anxious filled moment for me. And even though I know that this is best for me, I also can't help but think of the side effects to this drug. So there's that too. Um, I hope you guys follow me on this journey. Um, if anyone is going through this, I would love to know in the comments. If anyone's gone through this, I would even more love to know in the comments what I can expect. Um, and I will let you guys know as soon as I am able to pick up my other medication. Hopefully it's by the end of the day because like I mentioned today is a 72 hours. Um, but there I already do have peace of mind that I am able to start at least one of the medications. Um, I know from past experiences my mind is my worst enemy when it comes to a negative time. Um, so I definitely did want to get this taken care of as soon as possible because... Um, I will drive myself nuts until I figure it out. So um, definitely stay tuned. If you have any questions, comments, um, any any information, if you've gone through this, if you're going through this, if you know, please let me know below. Um, I don't know if anybody will watch this, but I know that this is the type of video that I was looking for when when I, when I was trying to make a educated decision on if I wanted to take it or not. So. Um, stay tuned and I will blog my journey.